Well, welcome back to another Dino Days video and this Cosmic Grey EP3 has been in the workshop this morning for an RBC inlet manifold and a throttle body. Sorry, stock throttle body, but it's got an adapter plate. Um, it's got some modifications like a 4 to 1 manifold and a Tegua 70mm exhaust system. It's also got the Tegua letterbox induction kit, carbon fiber induction kit. Now, this one's having an ECU exchange and a remap today. So the first thing we're going to do is stock power run and see where we are now even though we've just fitted the, the modification. So that'll give us a basis of the power that it's got right now before we start tuning. Um, and then we'll get tuning after we've done an ECU exchange. So fingers crossed, this goes according to plan today. It is a lovely car and he's traveled all the way from Preston of all places. So that was an early start for him. It's about lunchtime now. So I think a sandwich is to be had and then a stock power run. Here we go. Okay, so initial power run done uh, before we start with the ECU exchange and she's made 226 brake horsepower. So uh, big up the RBC indeed. Uh, so now it's time to do a bit of tuning and uh, make a little bit of noise. So let's do that. Lights, camera, action, action. Cosmic Grey EP3. I just want to start by saying that the uh, we've just seen the news that the uh, Prime Minister's resigned. Okay, that's that done. Yeah, that's right. that done. <coughs> so next, uh, I'm not resigning. Not today. No, not today. Not today. And if I did resign, 
Um, I don't want anyone to fulfil. To, I'd like to, to think. If, place. I'd like to think if I'd only been in the job six weeks, I'd uh, I'd shut up and get my job done. Give it, give it a bit of a go. Yeah, give it a bit of a go and get my job done. Mm. But anyway. sometimes you know it's just not for you, don't you? Yeah, maybe. But yeah, people got voted in, didn't they? So and Boris got voted in. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, he's in the pub where it's where I'd like to be. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic Grey EP3, uh, beautiful car. Uh, this morning has had an RBC inlet manifold fitted by your good self. Yes, it has. Yeah, so we did RBC inlet manifold this morning. Uh, standard throttle body. It's got a Tegua letterbox induction kit, as I call it. Uh, it's got a Tegua 4 to 1 manifold. It's got the Tegua 70 mm exhaust. So it's got some good mods on it. Perhaps only slight improvements, in my opinion, might be a bigger throttle body, maybe the Tegua bigger throttle body or mm. a Skunk 2 throttle body, but obviously because the rest of most things in here are all Tegua, probably would go with that. Um, and change the induction kit, in my opinion. Uh, again, I think this uh, induction kit was already on this car, so obviously the gentleman's decided he wants to keep it and obviously use it because it's on here, that's fine, obviously. Uh, I think it's still made pretty good power, to be fair. I think there's probably another five brake in this car, maybe somewhere. Yeah. Um, maybe with the induction kit and the throttle body. But, I mean, we're splitting hairs over a small amount of power, realistically. It's made a dramatic difference in the mid-range. Yeah, I mean, this car made good power. I mean, bearing in mind, when I say in standard form, on a standard map, uh, with all those modifications on, uh, I think we did 226, which is what we did on the initial run, which is generally a good indication that the car's obviously going to make good power because it's flowing well on a standard map and it's making. Um, you know, we've dominated the original uh, graph when you look at it. It's a great, a great word. word. You like that word? I like word. that. It's, uh, it's dominated the, that graph. Uh, you know, you look at where the power yeah. is and where you know it is on the original graph, uh, and then obviously where we've dropped VTEC down and obviously got it in, it's responded brilliantly. We made 40 brake, I think, in the mid-range. 40 brake horsepower in the mid-range. Which is, 6,000 RPM. Which is massive. Uh, and then we finished on 235. So we've made about 9 brake horsepower peak. Uh, but obviously we've extended the rev range. That's carried that, that power on. And obviously then when you look at when we've got power in earlier, yeah, a, a dramatic change in the in the vehicle. The customers uh, was jumping up and down and said basically if he got 235, he'd have hard nipples for the rest of the week. He did say that. And we, we managed to get him his 235. He did, he did say that. Mm. Yeah. Um, do, do, I don't know whether we're going to see them. Or... Yeah, well, maybe he'll send us a picture later. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. I wonder what his calf muscles are like. Yeah. I bet they're not better than Geno's. No, probably not better than the Jensen's. It made some whopping flames as well. So obviously I was quite happy today. I've be, I've got some videos of some nice big flames, which you've just seen. Um, yeah, brilliant. Do you want to have a look at the graph? Yeah, come on then. Let's, let's graph. do it. So as we always say, red line is as she came in and blue line is as she leaves. And as you can see, this is the warping area here of, um, of power in that mid range. Uh, 40 brake horsepower to be precise. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good smooth graph. It's looking great. Sounds amazing. And we finish on 234 brake horsepower, which we're calling 235. So there we go, another one in the bag. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Code word nipple. Um, yes, code word nipple. And we will see you all on the next one. Won't we, Jensen? Good lad, good lad, Jensen. Wait, it was pretty fast.